Just a quick little video to explain the concepts of surface hardenings of steel and there's two processes we're going to investigate or talk about and that's case hardening and induction or flame hardening. There are lots of times when with a piece of steel what we need is we need something that's fairly tough um, but we need a hard wear resistant surface so what we need to do is we need to create a hardened skin around the outer surface of the metal but we still need to maintain the tough core of the metal so there's two processes one is case hardening and the other one is what we refer to as induction hardening we'll look at case hardening first case hardening is what we use on our mild steels and the reason we have to use case hardening on mild steels is because the carbon content in the actual steel itself isn't sufficient to go through a normal hardening process uh, because we haven't got enough carbon to form that martensitic structure that we normally form when we are hardening metals. So the aim is to try and increase the carbon content in the outer surface of the steel and then go through a hardening process. So with the case hardening process, as we've got illustrated over here, there's a couple of things. What we do is we first of all heat the metal up Okay, and it's generally heated up to a, a red heat, so it's quite hot. And then it's immersed or soaked into a carbon-rich substance or environment. So that may either be a gaseous atmosphere or a common way of doing this in a school situation, or we used to do it in a school situation using a com chemical compound called hardite, which is like a powder. And you would dip the heated metal into that co compound and that would adhere to the surface. You'd then go through a reheating process and that would allow the carbon to impregnate or um, penetrate the outermost surface of the steel and then you would quench and that would actually then trap that carbon in solution and form a martensitic or hardened structure around the outside and obviously then you could go through some tempering as you would with normal hardening and tempering but all you're doing really is increasing the carbon content in the outer surface of the material so that you can then um, harden it um, under hardening processes so that's why it's called case hardening because it's forming that hardened case or um, skin around the outer surface and that's that's used for mild steel because of the lower carbon content there the other process we have when we are working with medium carbon steels because they have a higher carbon content and they can be hardened and tempered as per a normal process but we don't want to harden the entire piece of metal because that would make it brittle so we only want to harden the outer surface so the process there is what is called induction hardening or sometimes flame hardening and the difference between the two is just the way in which the metal is heated We'll focus first of all on induction hardening and that's when we use an inductor. Now you may have an induction cooktop which is where you place your saucepans on top of a, a ceramic surface with an induction coil underneath it and that generates a magnetic field and it's a magnetic field that generates the heat to cook your food. Exactly the same process here is we're using an inducting an induction coil around the outside of the material here and that's generating a magnetic field which generates enough heat in the medium carbon steel to raise the temperature of the steel and to raise the steel up into that austenitic range and that's why we talk about an austenized surface layer here because we've heated it up and we've gone into that austenitic range and so now our microstructure is all austenite. We then rapidly quench, so there's the water nozzles coming down, okay, and they're rapidly quenching the outer surfaces. Um, and because it's we've only heated the outer surface of the metal, the inner core still remains um, malleable and ductile and tough, whereas the outer surface has been heated up and it's gone through that austenitic transformation. And then we've cooled it rapidly with the water nozzles here and that has then created that martensitic structure on the outer surfaces only so that creates that hardening of that outer surface of the piece of steel that we're working with the other reason it's the other name it goes by is flame hardening and that's just rather than using an induction coil here what we would use is some sort of um, heating source such as a gas torch um, some sort of flame 
to elevate the surface, but we would heat it very localized um, and not for, not for sufficient time to allow the whole metal to heat up. We're only heating the outside surface of the metal um, into that austenitic range and then quenching very rapidly to create that martensitic structure. And obviously when it's quenched then, we then have that hardened skin around the outside. So um, with induction or flame hardening, it's very much a localised hardening process. And in this case, all we're doing is uh, hardening the outer surface of that skin and maintaining that malleable, tough core. So for example, something such as a railway track where we'd like the top of the railway track to be hard and wear resistance to resist the wear and tear of the uh, wheels of the railway carriages going across them, but we still need to have the inner core being um, fairly tough so it can resist um, the various loads and the um, forces that are going to be exerted on the railway track as a track, uh, train passes across it. Again, what I would recommend is that you do some reading. Um, there's plenty of little YouTube clips and tutorials and links on the website if you need a little bit of further explanation with those. Okay, so that's induction hardening and case hardening um, in a nutshell.